Well, hi there, everybody, and good Friday to you. I am dubbing today Phenomenal Friday. Looks like some fantastic weather on the way. Of course, I'm very excited for the weekend. I've got my Husker tie on, getting ready for the football season to start tomorrow night here. We'll get you that forecast here coming up in just a bit. But let's start you off with what we have this morning, and that is a very quiet start to our day. There's been some very patchy light fog along the Highway 81 corridor from uh, uh, around uh, Norfolk South. We're all the way down towards Hebron and Concordia, Kansas, but otherwise very quiet. Next thing we're going to be watching is a chance of showers and storms entering the picture out west late this afternoon and into this evening. They may even make their way as far east as the Tri-Cities after midnight tonight, so I did throw in a slight chance in the Tri-Cities late tonight into early tomorrow morning. We keep a slight chance going during the day tomorrow. Uh, notice how they try to push towards eastern Nebraska. Most forecast models are not showing that, though. So I'm going with dry conditions in Lincoln for tomorrow afternoon, which, I, again, I'll show you in just a bit. As we head towards tomorrow evening overnight, a little better chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Now, Futurecast is not showing much out there, but most other forecast models are. So I actually bump up the chances of rain for Saturday night and early on Sunday morning here. Futurecast, for some reason, seems to be uh, out of its mind right now. I, I, again, I... I'm kind of, this is a new model. I'm just seeing it for the first time, and I'm very surprised that it's not showing anything because most forecast models are showing uh, some uh, some sh strong to severe, not strong to severe thunderstorms, but just showers and thunderstorms for Saturday night across a large portion of the area. As for today, again, very quiet, mostly sunny. It's going to be quite breezy, especially to the north and west. Highs will be in the mid to upper 70s and lower 80s. Out west, a little bit more cloud cover, and in fact, even a small chance of rain or thunderstorms late this afternoon. Uh, out towards the Ogallala Imperial areas, upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. In the south, a little breezy, upper 70s this afternoon, mainly sunny skies, some high-level cloudiness, not quite as breezy to the east, also looking at temperatures in the upper 70s. Stay fair forecast, if you're heading out there, we got Hannah Houston performing tonight. Great, great weather, 62 at 9, 77 at 3 o'clock this afternoon, down to 71 there at sunset at 8 o'clock. And area high school football games, we got Silver Lake and Hampton in our game of the week. That's a six-man game, Hampton moving down to six-man football this year. Great weather out there, 70s to start, upper 60s by the end of the game. Similar temperatures out to the east, Adams Central traveling to take on Milford, Dorchester, and Class C1. And in Class D1, some eight-man football way out west along the air, just not too far from the Colorado border there. Amherst taking on Perkins County. I did keep a slight chance of showers and storms in the forecast for that game in western Nebraska. And tomorrow, speaking of showers and storms, I have lowered the chances. In fact, I think it will remain dry tomorrow afternoon. Partly cloudy skies. We'll be looking at temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. A little breezy, looking pretty fun for the uh, tailgaters out there. Kickoff in the upper 70s. Slight chance of rain if you're going to be at the game. That means about an 80% chance of it remaining dry during the game. So again, just a slight chance out there. Great 70s during the game against Fresno State. Temperature-wise, we stay in the 70s again tomorrow for 70s uh, for your Saturday. Again, increasing that chance of rain for Saturday night. And then just slight chances for Sunday and Sunday night as they shift towards uh, northern Nebraska. We're going to see some heat build in through the weekend, getting back close to 90 on your Labor Day holiday. Should be a dry one Labor Day with a slight chance of rain returning Monday night. Tuesday, about a 30% chance of rain, but Tuesday night, a pretty good chance, a 50-50 chance of showers and thunderstorms, and then slight chances continuing Wednesday and Thursday. As temps start to come back a little bit and kind of a sneak peek towards next Friday, it looks like a pretty decent chance of rain could be on the way towards next, towards next Friday, and also a bigger cool down could be on the way as well. So, a lot to uh, digest there. There's a lot going on this weekend, of course, this first weekend of uh, September and being Labor Day weekend. A lot to look forward to, and again, I think your plans will be okay. Just small chances of rain with the best chance during the overnight hours Saturday night. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a phenomenal Friday.